West Virginia Public Broadcasting takes a look at training and apprenticeships in West Virginia for American graduate getting to work. This project is sponsored by a grant from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The wooden poles can be up to 120 feet. Uh, towers can uh, be 150 to 250 feet. Uh, sometimes they're, they're higher than that. Today's our last day of training. Uh, before we go out on Learn to Earn for 16 weeks, we've been climbing, practicing, uh, learning all the ins and outs of pole climbing and line work for the past eight weeks. My name is Mike King. Uh, we're at Bridge Valley Community and Technical College in the Montgomery campus. And uh, I'm the instructor for the uh, Utility Line Service Program. It, it is teaching people to climb poles, uh, obtain their CDL Class A uh, driver's license. They also learn to run some uh, pieces of heavy equipment, a mini excavator, a skid steer, and a backhoe. They also get their OSHA 10 and some other qualifications that our uh, employers have asked us to add to the program. While you're in the eight-week course here, you'll get your uh, certifications in pole climbing. You'll get your certification in bucket rescue and pole top rescue. You'll also obtain your CDL Class A driver's permit too. And then uh, once you go on to earn and learn, you'll be put into an apprentice program and then move up through the ranks. And then as you move up through the ranks, you'll actually become a full-time journey lineman. The ultimate goal is to become a journeyman lineman at the end of your apprenticeship. The apprenticeships for this type of work, it definitely helps you a lot. Whenever you go to interview for an employer, possibly for a full-time job, and you say, hey, I've been doing this for 16 weeks or however long, I've got experience, and you might name off a couple significant jobs you've done. It definitely looks good on your resume. Yeah, we have a learn and earn program for the 16 weeks, the next 16 weeks of this program. This is a way for the student to earn some money while they're going to school. It also gives the employer a chance to see how well is this student going to fit in with their workforce. Right now, we're probably at 95%. Uh, the folks that go to work for an employer stay with that employer. A lineman's there to pretty much restore power, build new power lines, any new structures, there to run electric to them, storms, do storm work to restore power. I mean, anytime it's electrical need, we're there to help it out and fix it. We need to recruit more young folks, and we need to start that at an earlier and earlier age. The salary for a journeyman lineman is up somewhere close to $50 an hour right now. And there's bunches of overtime. Most folks come through this program in three years, they'll make 100000 a year. For more information, visit wvpublic.org jobs.